Hey everyone, welcome back to another Monday Makeup Lesson. Today I want to show you guys how to create this daytime smoky eye. It's a really, really easy look as well. This is a palette that we're actually using. I asked you guys last week what kind of palette you'd like me to try out, and this is the one that got requested. So we are using this one. It's the Balm Volume Number no. 2. We're using most of the eyeshadows on this side, so kind of the pinky, purpley tones, along with the highlighter and the blush, and the lipsticks, which is really cool too. If you have any other palettes you'd like me to try, definitely let me know, and I'll try to create them, and let's get started with this look. And some bonus good news, this look also works with glasses. It's actually one of my favorite looks to wear with glasses. The eyes still show up and it complements the frames along with the rest of the face and the lipstick too. So as always, we're gonna start off by just shaping around the brows. And the reason I say to do this is because it creates like a framework for everything else that we're gonna apply. So I'm going to be using the Shady Slim pencil. And last week somebody said, what shade do I use? And I use the shade black, but look, that's it. That's all I got left. I'm just gonna go through the bottom part of my brows just to sharpen them up a little bit. Creating that shape for your brows and creating that frame is the difference between putting a poster on the wall with crumpled edges and putting a poster in a frame. Next, I'm going to apply some primer. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer. Because this is like just an easy everyday look, I'm not gonna use that much primer. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. Take a little bit of the L'Oreal Tree Match Concealer because it's a nice thin consistency, but it's still quite good coverage. And I'm going to mix them together using my F. 17. Even though this is like a day look, I still want to sharpen up my brows, so I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to squash it down, take off the excess, but also flatten the brush, and then take the excess back onto the tip of the brush, and then go around the brows. I do a line really close to the brows, and then I just pull it down to blend it onto the lid, and apply it all over the lid. So now that we have our base done, let's go in with our eyeshadows and our brushes. For our brushes, as always, I'm gonna be using the Nine Piece S by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. And for eyeshadow, we're gonna be using this one because this is what you guys requested last week. So we're gonna be using this side of the palette. First brush that we're gonna take is the E26, and this is a nice blending brush. And we're gonna start off with the first shadow, which is this one right here. It's called Welcome. And just make sure our lid isn't too tacky, and this will just take away any of that tackiness and give us then a nice smooth base to work on. Then we're gonna take this shade, got a little bit of a pinky tone to it. We're gonna take that on this brush, just on the tip of the brush, and I want you guys to work this into the crease. You're gonna keep your eyes open though, so don't close them because that will change the shape. Keep your eyes open, just look down in the mirror. You're gonna start slightly off from the outer edge. So see, the outer edge is here. We're starting just in from that. And then we're gonna bring it over. And I'm holding the brush in the center of the handle, working from the outer edge then back over, not picking up any more product, just working whatever's already there. And then we can start to speed up slightly. And I kind of spread my hands like a claw. <laughs> and what that does is it just creates more tension and support for the brush. And it spreads out the balance of the kind of weight of the brush. You'll get a much more even effect by doing this. But I just find it's better than doing this. I feel like you don't get the same amount of control. And we're keeping the hand quite low on the face. So we're not up here. We're keeping it quite low down. And by keeping it low down, we'll actually blend up. So when you're up here, you tend to be blending downwards or at least straight across. But we want to slightly hit this area here. So by keeping the handle lower, this will hit that area. It's great for anybody who has hooded eyes because it will catch that hood, disguise it for you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the blush tone right down here. And we're going to take the tiniest amount on the tip of the brush. Okay, tap off the excess. This is a blush, so if you have sensitive eyes, you might not wanna do this, but it should pretty much work. I do it all the time. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go just around the edges. This is our fade shade. So what the fade shade does is it just creates that little fading effect for like a smoky eye. So it like just softens out the edges. And honestly, a fade shade will bring your look to the next level. Tiniest amount of product, you guys. Like seriously, don't overdo your fade shade because then it becomes a shade in itself. Don't do that. Next, we're going to mix up the two shades here. So this is the shade that we've already been using. I'm going to add in a little bit more brown. We're doing exactly the same thing, but we're keeping it a bit lower this time, okay? But nice and low. Use the curve of your eye and just go around. So it's like starting here, hugging the lid. And I'm really pushing that into that crease. I'm putting a little bit of pressure on the brush just to curve around that crease, get like right into that socket like that, curving back and forth and keeping the eyes open the whole time. Don't feel like you have to close your eyes because it changes the shape of your eyes. Keep your eyes slightly open and just let the brush work with the curve of your eye. 
Next, I'm going to take a small brush. This is the E10. I'm going to take the highlighter from this palette. Now, once again, if you have sensitive eyes, you might not want to do this. And I'm going to mix it up with the eyeshadow that we used to start with. This is matte. This is shimmer. And I want a mixture of both. Tap off the excess and just go around the top of your brow. So around that brow bone. And we're using a blending brush rather than a flat brush just to give us a soft blend so that our fade is really nice into the shades that we've already applied. If you want then you can just add a little bit extra of the highlighter just on the arch of the brow and then just blend that. From now on, it's just gonna be like working with the lid and bringing out the eyes on the actual lid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pencil brush and we're gonna take the darkest shade right here in the center. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this on the outer edge of the eye and you know what? I'm just gonna put a shadow shield on. It does kind of drop all over the place. So I'm just gonna take a shadow shield. You can use a little bit of tape if you want to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the outer edge with this color and we're just gonna really pat that in. And what we're doing is we're doing like a movement like almost like a wedge shape. Don't bring this up past the crease keep it quite low down onto the lid. You can touch the crease, but keep it onto the lid right by those lashes. Once you have that first layer on, I want you to take your blending brush and we need to be really soft with this. And I'm just using little motions like this, holding the brush a little further down in the handle, but still giving it a little bit of support and control and just do little, little wiggly circles. Working that into the crease ever so slightly onto the lid. You might need to go back in and just tap a little extra wherever you need it. Now there's nothing actually on this brush. I didn't pick up any of that dark shadow. This is just for blending what's already on our eyes. That's why I can kind of bring it into the crease and into the inner corner. What I want to do next is I'm going to take a setting spray, just any kind of setting spray or anything that you have, and a flat brush and just spritz it. Don't get it on the lens. I'm going to take the highlighter shade. Once again, if you've got sensitive eyes, you might not want to do this. And I'm just going to tap this across this inner part of the eye. So really softly, right up to that crease, and then where it kind of meets that dark shade, just kind of stop kind of halfway short of that. So don't go over the top of it or anything and the dampness of the brush will just make it stick that little bit more. Now you can leave it at this point, but what I wanna do is I wanna blend everything together using the pink tone, because the pink tone is what I really like about this palette. It's such a beautiful pink. So I'm gonna use that same brush. Don't worry if there's a little bit of highlighter on there, that's totally fine, just pick it up. And I want you to tap this where the two of them meet in the center. And then what I wanna do is just tap it all around, getting it all over this inner edge, over the top of the highlighter that we've already applied. But just leave that inner corner nice and bright because I want the highlighter to pop there. Take a clean blending brush and just soften that out. And I noticed that this outer corner isn't as dark as I'd want it to be, so I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that darker tone and just tap it on that outer edge. Once everything is looking nice and blended and you're happy with it, you can then move on to applying a little bit of eyeliner. You don't have to, you don't actually need to apply this. I'm not doing a wing or anything like that. It's just to deepen up the lash line to make sure that everything else pops a little bit. So literally just going along like this. If you don't want to use eyeliner, just use lots of mascara and just really coat right at the roots. Then just finish off with lots of mascara and I will be right back. Ah. Just a quick change to finish off with the rest of the makeup. Applied some lashes, lots of mascara, and I also put a little bit of that darker shadow just underneath, just to kind of bring out the eyes a little bit more. On the rest of the face then, I used that blush that we used on the eyes, same highlighter that we used on the eyes. And then for the lips, if you go down to the bottom of the palette, you have these two colors, and what I did is I just mixed up both of them, blended them in. So that is using this palette. Whatever recommendations you have, definitely let me know in the comment section what other kind of palettes you'd like me to try out. If there's any other palettes, do leave a comment and let me know what kind of colors you like in that particular palette particularly if it has lots of different colors because I might not use the color you want me to use so definitely let me know in the comment section check out the other videos on the screen now make sure to hit that like button make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next one